Okay, so this is um, Robin's Ducks Rush. Um, this is a, a kit car that he's been building. He's been building for a few years um, to a very, very high level. Um, we quite often get cars come in that, that are ready um, to just be wired, tuned, whatever. Um, rarely happens. I, I get it. It's, it's, you know, it's how they are. It's cars, isn't it? Um, Robin's has turned up at a completely different level of, of, of finish. You can see it's it's all just spot on, isn't it? It's such, such an extra layer of detail that he's put into this car. Um, so, um, we went up and saw, saw Robin um, about essentially why he didn't have a wire on the car. Um, now, he, he's gone, it's a little bit special this car. He's, he's decided to put the S54 from the BMW M3, um, E46 um, M3, um, and put that in there. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, now, basically, um, originally, just wanted it running. Um, he'd had various um, ideas about how to make it run, so we had a quick chat. Um, so what we did is we put it on a Max ECU, um, obviously, because we love those here. It's a Max ECU race in this car. It's the H2O version, well, that's a massive, uh, uh, you know, didn't make any difference. But essentially, um, we wired the whole car, um, front and back, um, literally between the front and the back number plates. It's not registered yet, so I'm not number plates, but essentially front to back. Um, the Max ECU race will run um, both the Vanos. Um, we're using the original coils, um, original injectors at this point, but that's something we've got to talk of soon. Um, the engine's a little bit tuned. It's got various um, little goodies in there. We've got a set of camshafts and such like in there. Um, so we've sort of been down and spoke to him. Um, and talked about various little bits and pieces extras that we could add on so um, essentially we've added traction control to the vehicle um, we've got the original m3 sensors in the front and the rear hubs so we've got four wheel traction control that's going to be adjustable on a dial on the, on the dashboard so that you can adjust the severity of it if he wants to go um, you know uh, balls deep and be a bit brave or if he wants to just uh, make sure he don't catch himself out because I, I think it's probably likely it's going to be absolutely epically quick um, so so essentially um, I'll run through I'll, I'll, I'll move the camera now and I'll run through with what we've done um, and then we'll go into the dyno um, and we'll go through a bit of what we're doing on the dyno um, and then we're going to pop it back on the trailer and uh, send it back to him okay here we are um, I'm just going to sort of run round with the with the camera so you can see exactly what's what. Um, so we've got a JEK Fabrications local guy. Um, he's built the whole exhaust system. This has got a catalytic converter in this one. Um, Max ECU is running like a wideband sensor, closed loop fueling at all times. Um, original coil packs. Um, we're actually producing now a um, plug and play loom for the S54, so you can literally just horse it in absolutely anything you want. Um, so yeah we're using the original Vanos units in on the engine um, the Max ECU is more than happy with that sorry I'm not very good with the camera work my YouTubing is uh, is not ideal um, so yeah uh, as you can see um, you know Robin's put extra level of detail in this car um, JEK again have done the inlet system goes onto the bodies um, we have got oil pressure oil oil temperature monitoring um, and shut off accordingly um, inside the vehicle um, we've essentially got the, um, the race 2 dash um, that's got the canvas interface into the ECU so any bits of CAN data it can see loom runs right through the car to the rear ABS sensors um, and then it sort of ends up back here um, we've got the car tech um, Cartec isolator in there as well, um, you know. So I'm really hoping it performs well on the dyno. Um, should really be an absolutely epic bit of kit. It's just genuinely, genuinely uh, that awesome bit of kit. Really excited to see how she does. So yeah, wish us luck.
Okay, so we're on the dyno with Robin's DAX now. Um, we'll be tuning this um, on the dyno using um, the steady state method. Um, we'll do a couple of power runs later on, um, once we've finished properly tuning the car. I won't bore you with the details, but we're holding the dyno at various RPMs. I'll be looking at the ECU, I'll have my deck cans on regardless. Um, we'll be allowing the dyno to, to hold the vehicle at various different RPMs set by us. We'll be trying to achieve MBT, like maximum brake torque um, timing. Not limit aside, this will give them, uh, a given speed and flow rate. It's the ignition timing that gives us the maximum torque. Um, there are lots of other bits we're going to be playing with. Um, the S54 has two Vanos units, which we also will be, will be swinging around a little bit. Um, this is cammed, this engine, um, this has got some strict cams in it, um, so we don't really know um, where it's going to be. I know roughly where an original should be, um, so we'll be playing with this now. Um, yeah, it's time to get cold. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've, we've finished up Robin's car now. Um, we've ended up with uh, 355 flywheel power. It's about 302, 305 wheel horsepower, um, which on my dyno is fairly good for one of these. Um, very seldom do I see them these days over 310 on this dyno. It's, she's a bit of a heartbreaker, but then every dyno operator says that, don't they? Um, so yeah, we've got we've got nice power. Comes on real strong from five on. It's going to be an absolute hoop. Um, really happy with it. Everything's just as it should be. Um, engine's not leaking any water or oil or any of those great things that usually happens when people bring so-called finished stuff up. So it's a credit to Robin for sure. Um, yeah. So essentially now we've just got to um, move it out. Just give it a wipe over with a cloth, a bit of a polish on there. Um, load it on the trailer tomorrow morning weather permitting of course um go on up and see robin and make sure he's made that cake he's promised me so yeah excellent news um have a good christmas everyone i'll see you all soon